Hey, what is up, guys? It's your boy Michelangelo here, bringing you another video. So you know the vibes every Sunday, Demon Slayer Sunday, Katana Kaji no Sato Hen, aka Kimetsu no Yaiba, the Swordsmith Village arc. Your boy is here for season three, episode five. Last episode was absolute insanity, bro. There was so much going on. We started off with Muichiro saving Kotetsu from finding Nemo, which was absolutely fantastic. <laughs> um, so Muichiro was able to analyze the situation and realize uh, that the weak point is on the vase on its back. So he cut it up, and uh, you know, finding Nemo was done. But uh, little did we know there were more Finding Nemo's that came into the village later on. Goddamn, <laughs> Finding Nemo's brothers came through. Anyway, we got to see um, a little bit of Muichiro's backstory. Apparently, the reason why he has, uh, you know, amnesia and memory loss, um, I guess he went through um, a traumatic, uh, you know, event that caused him to lose his memory um, and everything. Uh, we saw a little bit of a flashback of him talking to Kagaya and everything like that. So uh, I'm really curious to find out what the full story is. Uh, but um, he looked very injured in that, uh, in that flashback and everything when he was talking to Kagaya. So, uh, yeah, so Kotatsu uh, let him know that um, Kanamorio is being attacked and, uh, you know, he's protecting Haganezuka because Haganezuka is currently forging, um, you know, a sword, Tanjiro's sword. And, uh, you know, that process cannot be stopped um, and everything. So Muichiro uh, is going to need to help him out um, and protect him as he does that work. And Kanamori uh, is being attacked as well, you know. So uh, they headed off to, uh, you know, the direction of where uh, Kanamori is with Kotetsu, Muichiro and Kotetsu. And then uh, we moved on to uh, the whole situation that's going on with Genya, man. Like, I don't know what the heck is going on, but everything has been so sus with Genya from the moment that Tanjiro realized that his, his tooth grew back, you know? So I don't know what kind of healing factor this man has, but I I'm, I'm excited to find out what the hell is going on. Also, thank you guys so much for letting me know. The reason why he was, ch uh, he was chanting that uh, Amida Sutra, um, Giome is is uh, his is his uh, you know trainer and everything his master you know so it kind of makes sense why he would be chanting that Amida Sutra because you know every time we see Giome he's like Nabu Amida Boots so I guess he believes in the Buddha and the, you know Amida Sutra and everything so I guess he was kind of channeling his uh, teacher I suppose when saying all those uh, you know prayers and chanting while he was fighting Aizetsu you know but goddamn man Genya is he's he's built different man this man cannot take any damage it's absolutely insane also baby girl Mitsuri is finally here bro we are not looking good Tanjiro and and Nezuko got packed up by Urogi, Sekido, and freaking Karaku, bro. Like, we are not looking good. But now that baby girl Mitsuri is here... I, I, I think we're I think we're gonna be okay, right? <laughs> anyway, thank you guys also so much for letting me know. I was asking a lot where we, where she was in the previous episode um, and the conversation that they were having with Tanjiro when they were trying to look for Genya and bring him some food. Um, you know, she uh, was called by one of the Kakushis to go, uh, you know, um, oversee the whole, um, you know, uh, creation or crafting of her Nichirin blade. So uh, that's been going on for, I think, a couple of days because, you know, uh, Tanjiro uh, was training also with uh, Yurichi Type-0 and everything. So I guess Yes, the forging of her sword took a little bit um, of time and everything, you know, but now that it's complete, she's finally heading back to the, you know, to the village to, uh, you know, join the fight. And I'm very, very excited to see how all that's going to go, you know. So thank you guys so much for reminding me about that. I totally forgot that she had gone to get her Nichirin blade, uh, you know, forged and everything and add a couple of, you know, I suppose... Um, tweaks and everything, you know, to oversee the, uh, you know, uh, creation of her Nichirin Blade and everything. So, yeah, man, I'm excited to jump into this particular episode. Last one was absolute insanity. So, without any further ado, your boy is here. I've spoken enough. That's enough of the recap. Let's jump right Three, two, one, go. Oh? Bro, are you hearing this music? Goddamn, we're back with Kotetsu and Muichiro heading to Kanamori. One of Finding Nemo's brothers. Bro! Damn! He slashed the vase and its head. Nah, Muichiro is built different, man. You love to see it. Light work. He's the one who's supposed to forge Muichiro's sword, right? Yeah. Damn, the Yurichi's Type Zero blade is not looking good. Oh? Tanjiro asked him? Wow, he actually said that? Tanjiro is so kind, man, you love to see it. 
Yeah, he's currently forging Tanjiro's sword, right? Oh, amazing, man. Oh, Tanjiro is so kind. He actually talked to Kanamori to take care of that for Muichiro. Oh, you love to see it. I cannot wait to see how this episode goes. Let's go. Let's go. Episode 5, Bright Red Sword. Wait, hold up. I've been thinking about this title for past week. Um, I remember the first time that Haga Nezuka brought Tanjiro his sword, right? He mentioned how he wanted to witness and see, um, you know, a bright red sword, right? He could tell that Tanjiro comes from a family that deals with fire, you know, or charcoal or whatever. And you could tell that Tanjiro's hair was, you know, um, a reddish hue. Uh, same case with his eyes, but it ended up turning black. And uh, judging from what Uroko Daki said, like people with black Nichirin blades don't go so f uh, don't go too far, you know, as swordsmen and everything. And I remember Rengoku said people with black Nichirin blades also, um, you know, have a hard time mastering, uh, you know, a certain technique, a certain breathing technique, you know. So I'm kind of curious, like in regards to color changing blades, like what's so special about the red one, you know? Because I remember Rengoku's was bright red too, right? Because I remember in Mugen Train, he said when he was trying to protect those civilians on the train, he was like, you know, I won't let you hurt them, you know, um, if you bear your fangs on the innocence, my bright red flame blade will take care of you, you know, and then he did that, uh, you know, Hono no kokyu, ichi no kata shiranui, annoying fire. So I'm, I'm kind of curious exactly what's so special about, because we don't know too much about the color changing blades besides the black one, right? Um, like, but what about Sanemi's who's green, or, or Muichiro's that's kind of bluish, you know, or Giyu's that's blue also, you know, or uh, or Zenitsu's that's, you know, lightning, um, you know, colored, or yellow, rather, you know, I'm, I'm rather curious about that, but let's find out. Like, like, I'm really curious what exactly is so special about a bright red sword, you know? Also, wow, it just crossed my mind. On the title screen, I was so focused on talking about the bright red thing. On the title screen, it's short Tanjiro's mark, right? The, the mark on his, uh, on his forehead, you know? I just realized that, it just came to my mind right now. He's not ending to the chief. Whoa! The demon? Gyoko? Oh my god. He's here. Oh my god. Gyoko versus Muichiro. I'm here. I'm here. Slowly now, Muichiro. Slowly. Bro, we're getting Muichiro versus Gyoko already. Let's go. I'm here. I'm here. We get more of that Kasumi no Kokyu. I'm here for it. Cannot wait to see his other forms of misbreathing. Bro, there he is. Bro, this music. <laughs> Meanwhile, finding Nemo's brothers are attacking the swordsmith village. Ooh, damn! Bro, finding Nemo's are going crazy, bro. Bro, this music, man. Baby girl Mitsuri, she's gonna come through, right? She was on her way. Baby girl Mitsuri, there she is, my girl! Yo, let's go, Mitsuri! Show me that love breathing. Show me the coin, the Kokyu. Damn, look at how fast she's slicing them. Look at her go! Mitsuri! Damn! Bro, look at her go. I think it, she's going so fast because her, bl her blade can bend, right? She's slicing them so quickly because her blade can bend. Oh my god. She is l making light work of these Finding Nemo's. You love to see it. What the heck? This one has four bases on it? Damn, it's got the chief. Oh no. Damn. Mitsuri's on her way. She's got to save him, right? Damn. His Hyotoko mask cracked. Damn. It packed up the, the demon slayers that were here. Sheesh, you hate to see it. Mitsuri! Show me the love breathing! Bro, her theme, are you hearing this? Bro, look at how bendy it is, I love it! Tenshin forged it? Wait, what did he say? Who forged it? The chief forged it? Did the chief... Um, did Lord Tenshin... So the chief forged this blade for her? No freaking way! Wow! Tetchin? Look how bendy it is, man! Come on, Mitsuri, show me what you got! Let's go! Shivers of first- Oh my god! What? 
Let's go. Shivers of first love. It kind of looked like there were some minor explosions that happened internally on this Finding Nemo from that first form of Koi no Kokyu, love breathing. I, I okay, interesting. Okay, so does it have an effect to it, or like how does this work? You know, is it like tengens? You know, sound breathing with fireworks. Anyway, let's keep going. Hopefully, she'll do another technique. But that was fire. That looked cool. Finally, we got to see first form. For her blade is so cool. <laughs> He's on cloud nine. Oh my god, bro. No. Damn. I thought he died. <laughs> He's in heaven right now. <laughs> he wants. He wants to be held. Tanjiro. The scent. Nezuko woke up. Uh oh. Damn, Sekido again. Oh my god. What was that scent that Tanjiro was smelling? Bro, look at Nezuko. Oh, they got got. Sekido's lightning is so annoying, bro. Oh my god. They got cooked. Damn. Now, now Tanjiro is helping Nezuko. Meanwhile, Genya and Aizetsu are still going at it. Bro. This is so intense. Damn, that fan is a problem. We need to get rid of that fan. And Sekido's staff too. But he'll grow another one though. Their tongues were their weakness, right? Not again. Damn! Another one! Damn! Bro, Karak. Huh? Nezuko, what are you doing? Bro, we already halfway through. Why do these episodes feel like five seconds, bro? We already halfway through, god damn it! Yo! Damn, Karaku is a problem. Sekido too. Sheesh! Look at all that damage. Oh my god, they must be under the rubble of all that. Damn, she's been crushed by one of the buildings. Wait, what? What is she doing? Wait a second! Bro, I'm gonna take a wild guess at, at what Nezuko is trying to do here. Is she trying to wrap Tanjiro's blade with her blood and make it like light on fire? Just like the time that they did with Rui when he did the Hinokami Kagura and the flame dance for the first time? Nezuko's blood, a little bit of her blood, her explosive blood touched uh, the tip of Tanjiro's broken Nichirin blade that time. If that's what she's doing, bro, and I swear I've never read the manga, I swear to God, if that's, bro, if that's what she's gonna do, that's gonna be insane. That's gonna be insane. Is that what she's gonna do? That's what she's gonna do, isn't it? It's what she's gonna do. Are we back with Muichiro? His artwork? What artwork? She <laughs> are Wait, where, where did that vase come from? What? I love that clapping he just did. Another Finding Nemo? Or what is it? Oh my god! Behold death, death throes of smiths? Oh my god, he took the bo So that's what he does with the bodies of the people that he, he kills? That is so messed up, bro. Oh my god. Five swordsmith to lavish extravagant effect. Bro, look at the camera angles. Oh my god, this is crazy. You photoball is popping off right now. Bro, Kanamori and Kotetsu need to get out of here. They're gonna be a hindrance on Muichiro. They're, he's gonna he's gonna be very distracted while fighting Gyoko if he has to protect them. They need to run. Oh my god! Gyoko is a savage! Look at all the blood. Oh my god, Gyoko is such a scumbag, bro. Muichiro, let's back him up. Oh, the... Bro, he's getting me. You, let's go. Oh, let's go, Muichiro! Yo, he almost got him there. Bro, did you see that? The animation on the mist, you votable. Bro, I'm done talking, Gyoko. Let's let let's throw hands. He can teleport from one face to another. I see. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Moichiro is too fast, man. Oh my god, I didn't even see him move. He's teleporting. 
Bro, how many vases does he have? How is he able to do that so quickly? Teleport like that. How many vases do you have? He called him an ape? Wow. That's my question, Muichiro. We're done talking, Gyoko. Let's throw hands, bro. Stop running. Absolutely. Let's do it. Let's do it, Muichiro. What the hell? That was a needle fish. We got Finding Nemo's, bro. More of them. Smaller ones. Oh my god, look at... Bro, look at the animation on them, bro. What? That is, oh my, you photoable, yo. Bro, they're popping off right now, man. This looks so good. Oh my, I just have to appreciate this. That is so crazy, man. The CG is blending so well. No! No, Karamori! Muichiro, did he save them? Oh my god! Are you good, Muichiro? This man got turned into Sonic the Hedgehog, bro. Damn. <laughs> you see, uh, what I happened, uh, what I said exactly happened. You see, uh, Kanamori and Kotetsu became a hindrance for him. He had to save them. Oh my God, the pins inside his body. Oh, and he's not even phased, bro. He's just, he's just chilling. <laughs> Poison? Oh, bro, he's got poison like Yutaro now too. Oh, yeah. Why do all these demons have poison, bro? That's so unfair. Bro, even in his ear. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, what? Wait, is that... Maybe the demon... The demon that attacked him? Back when he was a kid, or... Let's go! It is worthless. Let's go, Mojiro! Damn! He cut off one of the baby hands, love to see it. Oh no. Water? Mizu no Kokyu? Water prison pot, okay? Bro, this music is so good. Come on, Muichiro, break out of there, buddy. He can't slash the water? Oh yeah, cause he can't, he can't breathe. Damn. How did you find this place, Kyoko? Kagaya, you're gonna go after Kagaya next? You hate to see it. Bro, she's gonna, she's gonna wrap his blade with flames, isn't she? That's what she wants to do. It's gotta be what she wants to do. I knew it! I figured! Let's go! Just like that time with Rui! It's changing color, it's becoming... It's turning red! Oh my god! Just like it did that time with Rui! Oh my god, Tanjiro! Exploding blood sword! Sumiyoshi? A samurai sword. She kind of looks like she kind of looks like Nezuko, but has blue eyes. The inherited memory that Kotetsu talked about before. Yorichi? Was it pitch black? Thanks to the power of Nezuko's blood. So just. So his blade is just like Yorichi's right now? You may think you've gotten stronger, but um, there are always even more powerful demons. Facts. Oh my god! Nezuko coming in clutch! Again! Oh, Giyu! Urokodaki! Zenitsu Inosuke! Tengen! I see you, my boy! Let's go, Tanjiro! Tengen! Nezuko Urokodaki! Rengoku! Let's go, Tanjiro! Oh, let's go, let's go, please. Sekido Karaku. Surprise! From the music. Bring it on, Urogi. Let's go, Tanjiro. Oh? Raging Sword? Oh, just like. Oh my god! He remember The Sword of the Swordsman? who drove Lord Muzan into a corner, so it was exactly like Yorichi's blade back then! He feels it! He feels the memories of Muzan's cells from back then! Oh my god, Tanjiro is on demon time, bro! The music! And nearly beheaded him! His mark is changed again! Oh my god, he's channeling Yorichi! 
Oh my god, bro! Oh my! Oh, bro! Oh my god! The enemy! Tanjiro! Oh my god! Bro! Oh my god! Bro! You didn't have... Oh! Head dance! Look at the dragon! Oh my god! Oh my god! He beheaded all three of them with such ease! Because of your mark! What is this mark? And his forehead, the mark changed. It changed back. He can do it now. Aizetsu. Damn. Wait, what? Genya. What the? Genya beheaded him? What the hell is going on here? And the, the tips of his hair are yellow. They weren't like that before. Oh my god! So we're done! But what the hell is going- Is this man a demon? This man is a demon! Oh my god! Now it makes sense why he was healing! And why that time when Tanjiro and, 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 well, oh my god, my god, I'm so hyped right now. And the way Mitsuri, when they took, they, 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 some villagers said that Genya wasn't eating food. I guess it's because he's a demon. But, whoa, 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 how did he become a demon? What? Bro, I have so many questions. What the hell is going on here? Demon staple food are, 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 are human beings, right? So that makes sense why he wasn't eating. But how did he become a demon? <laughs> He's like a demon! Oh my god, bro! Nah, this has to be the hypest episode we've gotten so far, bro! Oh my god! <sighs> Good question, how does she do that? Poison potato? Oh, wow. Oh, I'd love to see it in Mitsuri. Oh my gosh. Aren't you going to become a Hashira? Oh, episode 6? <laughs> Bro. Oh my freaking god, you photoball. That you for unlimited budget, man. I'm gonna watch that Hinokami Kagura scene a hundred and million more times. Because, bro, they didn't need to pop off that hard, but they did, bro. Did you see that? So now, now it make okay. So I'm gonna need to go back, and because so much was happening, and I was trying my best to read as I, um, you know, as I was trying to process all of that godly animation. So Yorichi's sword back then, judging from what Sekido said, he felt it in Muzan's cells. You know, the fear that Muzan had way back in the day when he was fighting Yorichi. You know, the same exact type of blade, the red, bright red blade, just like that. The raging sword, Sekido called it, just like that. You know, he almost beheaded Muzan. I, I'm, kind, I'm really shocked, to be honest with you, and I'm really hoping at some point we get that Yorichi backstory with how the battle between him and Muzan went, because I'm genuinely shocked how, if Yorichi was so much of a badass like that, how the hell did Muzan, you know, escape his clutches? You know, like, that's, that's what I'm curious about. Hopefully we'll get that soon. But I f you, did I not call it? Did I not call it? I figured when Mo when Nezuko was holding Tanjiro's blade like that and pouring her blood, the only thing that came to mind for me was that she was gonna wrap his sword with her explosive blood. You know the the flames, and she did it. She absolutely did it, man. So. I, here's what I need you guys to do. Let me know in the comment section. Was Yorichi's, or maybe I'll go back and check it out also to just be sure. Was Yorichi's blade also black or? You know, was it black first and then later on when he was facing Muzan, it turned red? 
or like how exactly did that work, you know? Because judging from the memory with Sumiyoshi right there with his wife talking, you know, um, and judging from what Tanjiro said, he said that potentially Yorichi's blade was also black. Like, because I mean, we haven't seen what his like the blade looks like itself, and we've only seen it like sheathed and everything, you know, in the scabbard. But we haven't seen like what it looks like completely. I mean, we did get a okay, maybe in in uh, the entertainment district when uh, Tanjiro was fighting Daki and uh, she had that memory just like the way Sekido did here with Muzan cells and everything. We saw how his blade, but that wasn't like a closer. Okay, maybe, maybe I, I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe. Just feel free to let me know. Was it black and then became red, or was it red all through? You know, just feel free to let me know that. Genya is a demon, bro. What? How did he become a demon? How? I I don't understand now. Because like I, like I said, now it makes sense why he wasn't eating. Because I remember um, in the first episode when Tanjiro and and um, and, uh, uh, and Mitsuri were having a conversation, some villagers were telling Mitsuri that Genya hasn't been eating. They bring him food, but he never eats. Makes sense because. He's a demon, and we all know that demon staple food is human beings, right? So now it makes sense. But has he been eating human beings? You know, that's the question. Or is he just like Nezuko, who all she needs is just to rest and sleep, and she gets stronger like that? You know, is that how it works with Genya? But goddamn, he... When I said Genya's on demon time in episode 3, I didn't literally think he was actually gonna, gonna become a demon, bro. <laughs> wow, that is shocking to me. That is shocking to me, man. Hopefully he doesn't attack Tanjiro now, but goddamn, he packed up Aizetsu like that? Yo, oh my god, I'm gonna need to go back and see that Hinokami Kagura scene again, man. Yo, the mark changed again. He sliced off Karaku, Sekido, and Urogi's heads like it was nothing, bro. Oh my god, and of course Genya took care of Aizetsu. Yo, oh my god, off screen. Sheesh, this episode was insane, man. Also, love to see Mitsuri with her love breathing come through and save the chief right there. You know, um, I I'm surprised. I, I guess, like, when, when she fought that Finding Nemo demon, I guess, you know, uh, the, the bigger one with the four vases on it. Um, I don't know. I was expecting love breathing to have, like, an effect to it, but I guess it's, you know, because that, or maybe, well, you know what? Let me, let me reserve my judgment completely for now. You know, not that I'm saying it's bad, you know. It's just I was expecting something visually striking, you know. But uh, let, me, let me save my judgment, like I said, for now. And then maybe when we see more forms from her. Um, you know, maybe they'll add an effect to it because, um, you know, all it looked like to me was similar to Tengen, you know, because the, the, the demon looks like it was exploding from the inside, you know, so when she did her fir uh, first uh, love breathing first form, was it shivering? Uh, shivers of first love, I, I, I believe that's what it was called. Um, and then Muichiro taking on Gyoko. Gyoko is a scumbag, man. But oh my god, we got, you know, the needles in him. Yo, saving uh, Kanamori and Kotetsu like that. Oh, that is so painful. And now he's currently underwater. He's been trapped. And, you know, demon slayers need to breathe to be able to use their breathing technique so Muichiro is a little is a, he's in a, a big bind right now not even a little bind he's in a big bind right now but uh, I have faith in him I hopefully he'll be able to and the needles have poison too that is so unfair man god damn these demons are so strong but um yeah man okay now that we're done with with you know Han Tengu I mean we cut off all the heads hopefully he doesn't multiply into somebody else hopefully you know I'm, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with I think we're I think we're I think we're done I hope with with Han Tengu specifically because goddamn man he was he he was really strong. He was very strong. Anyway, guys, this episode was insane. Thank you all so much. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I, I, I was screaming and everything, but can you blame me, man? This stuff is so hype because I hear so many people in the comment section are always complaining. Oh my God, Michael, you scream so much and everything. What? Bro, when I'm hype, I scream. I'm just being me, bro. What do you want from me? Do you want me to just hold all that hype in? I'll freaking, bro, I'm going to have constipation if I do that. <laughs> Anyway, guys, that's it from me. If you enjoyed my reaction to this particular episode of Kimetsu no Yaiba Katana Kaji no Sato Hen, episode 5 of the Swordsmith Village, which was so far the hypest episode so far, man. Goddamn, Tanjiro popped off of that Hinokami Kagura dragon, man. Goddamn. What did he call it? Head of the dragon or something? I, I, I'm gonna need to go back and check it out. Please do me a favor and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It really does help out a lot. Also, give the video a thumbs up for the hype of Kimetsu no Yaiba. I'd really appreciate that. Also, make sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my two reaction videos, live streams, or walkthroughs. You can also feel free to follow me on all my social media, Twitter and Instagram. Links to that will be down below in the description of this particular video. You can also feel free to join our Discord. Links to that will be down below in the description of this particular video as well. You can also feel free uh, to become a channel man. Oh, you can also... <laughs> Bro, I'm too hyped. My brain is short-circuiting right now. <laughs> you can also feel free to become a channel member or a Patreon by clicking the link down below in the description of this particular video to support your boy. And you always get a shout-out in every single one of my videos. But until then, guys, please do me for take care of each other. Take care of each other. Have a lovely day and weekend and Sunday. I love you all. Peace out, and I'll see you guys next time. God damn, man. That was so hype.